something that's going on around here. Do not go away, guys. <laughs> we are just here to observe. We're not going to eat anyone. Well, this is quite amazing. This is, I'm sure these were all of the ones that we saw earlier on today when we were... Mm, okay, son, we... I think I'm gonna... Sorry. Let me just go slightly forward and maybe we won't have that bright reflection of the sun right where it is. Maybe here is a bit better? No? All the way there. All the way there. Yes, sir. All right, we are just trying to find a good angle where the sun is not going to be reflecting on the water eh, too much so that we can have a look at everything that's going on here. It seems like maybe the wildebeest of Juma have decided to put on a migration show for all of us. <laughs> Thank you guys, that was very kind of you. Now, if anybody needed a Mara, Mara fix, this is almost the way to go. <laughs> a bunch of wildebeest by the water. Um, sadly, no crocodiles here. So I think it's a good thing for them because they'll all be able to survive this watery encounter. <laughs> Coming down for a drink. And I'm sure this is the herd that we saw this morning. So there's about maybe 30 of them. Yeah, I would say about 30, 35 of them in total. Now someone's having fun there in the mud. Like we were saying earlier, it's been a hot day, so I wouldn't be surprised if they've just gone down uh, to the mud to where it's a bit cooler, so it feels a lot better to sit down there than pretty much anywhere else. Look at that! I can even pretend that we're in the Maasai Mara now, with this great wildebeest migration. Careful, you're wondering what's the name for a large group of wildebeest? Well, I suppose just a herd. Herd of wildebeest? I don't know if they've got any fancy names, but as far as I know, they're just simply called a herd of wildebeest. Now, we've got a few that are doing some very funny stuff by the edge of the water, and they keep, yeah, rolling around in the mud. Very buffalo slash elephant like of them. And I'm sure it's because it's been such a hot day, they're trying to cool themselves down, but I'm also trying to get rid of some of those annoying parasites that can live on their skin. Oh, guys, you're really enjoying this mud bath. Or, well, it's not a mud bath, but beauty treatment, perhaps? <laughs> Even the youngsters are doing it. I think this is quite unusual behavior and it's they, they're they very happy to be close to the water because they have learned already that there aren't any potential predators in the water that might try and eat them. I think should we be in an area like the Maasai Mara where there are lots of crocodiles and lions lurking around waiting for the approaching wildebeest, likely that's when they're going to come and feel a bit more wary of the water sources. But like we said, this is a shrinking water hole. And I think it's the only one that is actually going to be pumped, if need be, throughout the winter time, so that there's always water here. But because there aren't any predators, the wildebeest have already known this fact, that they can approach it and just enjoy a lovely time by the water's edge. Well, this is pretty amazing, looking at them enjoying the mud so much. Stevie, you're wondering if these wildebeest will migrate to the Mara. Um, no, they will not migrate to the Mara. The wildebeest that we have in this part of the world, so in southern Africa, they because there's water readily available for them, they don't have to move too much. They might semi-migrate during the dry winter months from one area to the next, just where they can find water, but they will not go from here all the way to the Mara. I do think that there's some sort of... Um, theory that says that perhaps millions well not, maybe not millions thousands of years ago all of the animals used to migrate and especially i think it's been said that elephants used to go all the way from southern africa to east africa however as human populations have evolved in the world and we have started building roads and putting fences we have cut the migration for many animals so they've had to readapt and that is perhaps one of the reasons why the wildebeest that we have down here do not move around and do those great migrations that we see in between uh, uh, well, the, the, our winter months here, but they're summertime there. <laughs> Cl 
basket, you're wondering if female wildebeest have horns just like gazelles. Um, yes, they do. They have horns just like the males. Normally, bigger sized antelope, both males and females, tend to have horns. Uh, and they come into pretty much aid for their defense. So males wildebeest and female wildebeest have got horns, which makes it sometimes a bit tricky to tell them apart from the distance. Hmm. This is quite a wonderful setting. Interesting, guys. And now around the water, there's shoots of grass that are probably a bit more palatable still yummier to eat more nutritious so it's a perfect setting for them they they can play around in the water have something to drink and then eat food that's softer and more nutrient rich than what they've been probably eating the whole day now we've got some i think it's some youngsters down there still in the mud playing around with it <laughs> Kelly, you're wondering what the lifespan of a wildebeest is. Uh, well, in the wild, I would put it somewhere around maybe 10, 12 years old. Probably on average, we would find that it's a little bit less than that, but that, that would be my normal average. But let me see if I've got a book here where I can double check that this fact is correct. <laughs> it seems like we've got a youngster quite enjoying life over there. Uh, look, could it not could it? I have lost one of my very trustworthy animal books. I am not too sure where I have put it, and that makes me worry quite a bit. All right, lifespan 15 years. So, according to my trusty book, it's about 15 years. I would imagine that they, in reality, they live slightly less than that just because of the hard conditions that they can live upon, and I assume also it's area dependent. But I think probably 15 years is a good average here. I would assume that the ones in the Mara perhaps live slightly less because they have to migrate. And as we all know, and as we've been seeing, lots of predators lurking around waiting for this time of abundance. Hmm. Interesting. So we're having like a mini bite-sized migration over here. I wonder if they're gonna head back to quarantine or if perhaps they're gonna go into greener pastures later on and by greener I just mean pastures that are not here because there's this is as green as it gets for this time of the year now I don't know I'm trying to think if there's any potential open area that they might enjoy but I think it's quite thick all around here so I would have imagined that they would just pretty much do a bit of a circle and go back to quarantine where we saw them this morning Rino Maturda, you're wondering if wildebeest are raised for human consumption. Well, the uh, game game farms that I want to say produce, but that raise animals for human consumption. They don't do it in intensive as, for example, maybe cattle farmers. But yeah, they do sell wildebeest meat, and it's quite tasty. You'll often find that they'll give it or offer it to guests at lodges if they want to try any of the wild meats. I think wildebeest, nyala, kudu is very popular as well. What other one, Kurt? Am I forgetting another? You can eat anything. You can eat anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is probably true as well. But I think those are maybe the most common ones. But yes, there are, and in fact, I think in South Africa, a lot of people prefer eating, or it's very common to eat venison rather than cattle, just because it is also believed that venison is a lot healthier than cattle. A lot of the times you'll just see that people will leave their uh, their game animals, like the wildebeest or the nyala, they'll leave them to pasture and live freely before the time starts to, to cull them. I don't know, there's no way that I can talk nicely about culling of creatures, but it seems to be the preference. <laughs> 